strawberry orange mango. I put that in this one. Oh, yay! So you like it? I'll get another one. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. Help me, God. Oh. Really taking everything in me not to give up on myself. Because I want to eat. <clears throat> I don't be hungry, but I be eating because I feel like I should eat. Does anybody else have that problem? God, you call me by my name. Love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see. Hey y'all, hey, it is me, Karina Lee, and I am back at it again with another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Karina. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting. So, in today's video, you guys are going to come along with me. We are doing a three-day juice cleanse or juice fast or call it what you want. But it's three days, juices only, juices only, yeah, okay. And so, yeah, it's going to be vlog style. So the, if that is something that you are interested in, let me put these juices down, child. If that is something that you are interested in, definitely keep watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it. there now here's my thing i just feel like i'm out here doing too much because why i put a 10 percent tip i really should like and i asked too late i should have just tipped the girl directly like the tip go to all of them and they break the tip up whole time she the one who helped me she don't who it in there i don't know god clearly got it on my heart to be generous today because i 10 percent I, I pressed you like why am i, I all right now I'm excited for this juice cleanse, y'all. Okay, okay. She look like nineties R and B. Her friends like that's the who you be. Look who we vibing at the shore. It's the color color got them be. I'm the secret biggest fan of she and friends. We can chill with everyone. I need someone to man. All these years never said a thing Knowing me is probably not hard to tell I can lose, see you got to leave All, all my nights sleeping well Damn, just a crush Damn, it's just a little baby crush Damn, it's just a crush Damn, it's just a little baby crush Hey y'all, hey. 
so as y'all can see we have all these juices we have we have 18 they were six for 30 so i got 18 of them i paid okay well y'all heard me earlier when i said i was getting a little i was doing too much and i was being generous and paying a freaking nine dollar tip like who does that anyways y'all i paid 93.75 and um for 18 juices i don't know that don't sound bad to me personally i expected to pay over a hundred dollars so yeah but um i signed up for their pro like little what's it called I don't know, their rewards program. So I got like a little shot and I got probiotics. So it has apple, red cabbage, lemon, ginger, and what is cultures? Like legitimately, what is cultures? So what better way to start things off than to try this one? I honestly should have got the new one. Because my throat feels funny. It's like cranberry juice, but like sweet, like super sweet. Good morning, y'all. Um, I just wanted to hop on here because I find this very funny, actually. I um got up this morning and I started planning for like the month and also like for today. And my mom was like, "Oh, Karina, I need you." Like she was like, "Can you take me to work or can you um can you?" take me to work or can I take your car and so I'm like yeah like I'll take you and I'm just looking at myself like don't I look like the mother when, when the kid come in you know back in the day we used to forget I mean not forget when you used to miss the bus we used to miss the bus and your mama had to take you to work <laughs> that's how I'm looking right now because I just doing some pants I still got my scarf on my bonnet on my night shirt on like we got to drop the kids off at, at school real quick one time and one time oh my gosh I'm channeling my inner mom but it's not time for that anyways y'all I feel a little under the weather to be quite honest with you and I don't like that it's a little concerning to me so I think what I'm gonna do is put like some of that immunity powder stuff I forget the name but I'll show you guys later I think I'm gonna put it into one of my juices um where the heck am I at Child. I think I'm gonna put it into one of my juices to just kind of like help me because I don't know what's going on and I didn't get none of the drinks that, that like help with immunity because I didn't think I was gonna be having this problem I usually don't Ooh. That was a pretty police officer. She was a woman. She, anyways. So, um, yeah, but I just want to hop on here and say that to y'all. I really want to drink my first juice, but I have to start my morning with God. So, I can't, um, every ball. I can't, um, drink it just yet because I have to do my morning devotional and I need to transfer my files before I am able to start recording with y'all on the other phone. Good morning. It is 10 something in the morning. Now that I've starved myself long enough, we're going to try the first juice. And I do this because this one is chocolate banana protein. It has banana, monk fruit, almond butter, pea protein, cocoa, vanilla extract, sea salt, and cinnamon. 240 calories. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, I definitely taste the chocolate for sure. Um, it tastes healthy for sure. Like, it kind of tastes chalky to me. I don't know if you guys know what I'm trying to say, but like, there's like this interesting like, like cocoa is powder, right? I don't know. It just tastes like powdery, chalky, but. It's still, it's cool. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> cool. All right. Let's go on this joy ride. This three day joy ride. <laughs> okay, did you bring me? What you mean? We going to get something? Saying you brought me something. No, I, oh, from. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. Just picked up a Tika Mae Renee from school. She already <laughs> acting crazy. <laughs> y'all know how it is with kids. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, where are we going? Back the other way. Y'all, I am hungry and I really don't feel good. Um, I'm about to put some clothes on. That this could is what be kids. Why you're cold. They always in the Did I say I was cold or did I say you I said you feel good. good? It could be because. As in, I feel sick. I know it could be because of your clothing. I'm gonna catch up with y'all because my kid getting on my nerves, <laughs> for real, and not for play. 
Ooh, motherhood is so hard. <laughs> Man, I get back in the car from running into the store from getting the errand, and this lady over here using my stuff. Oh, how do y'all do it? Okay, y'all, juice number two, it's 1222. Um, this is orange turmeric, so it is orange apple, aloe vera, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper. I said this sounded funny, but she said it actually was pretty good. It's 170 calories. Let's get into it. Ooh. I can't remember exactly what she said, but she said it tasted like orange juice. Like, I think she said like orange juice with a little kick, and that's literally what it tastes like. Ooh. Again, not bad. Ooh. I know my face says otherwise. It's not bad, but it's just like interesting, and my throat really hurts, so I think that's also playing a role. Well, it don't hurt, but it feel a little funny. I need to start sleeping with my humidifier. Anyways, when I drop my kid back off at school from her lunch break, we gonna head over to this gym. All right, y'all, we are at EOS. I mean, not EOS, child. We are at Planet Fitness, and I'm about to go in here and try and get like a week pass. Literally, the only thing I wanna do is the Stairmaster. That's the only reason I even wanna go back to the gym. I miss the Stairmaster. Um, it look a little packed, so I don't know. I don't like that. I, I, I hate a packed gym. But, um, yeah, I have to use the bathroom and it's peeing, so let's get up in here and see what we can get done. I do have this gadget that I got off of Amazon. So, basically, this is how I'm going to try and show y'all me on the Stairmaster. It's literally a magnet situation, and um, I'm going to connect it to, like, the machine next to me so y'all can see me on the Stairmaster. Hang out. Let's get in there. All this shit. Hoes. Send a nigga. All this shit. Yeah. You know, all this shit. In the club. Yeah. Beating the gas. Take nigga train. All this shit. Come on. We're in LA. y'all know i haven't sweat like that in like forever um truly can't remember the last time that i was damp moist if you will no you shouldn't because who says that but anyways y'all i ain't get a full sweat on because i need to go home and record my youtube intro for bottoms up body fitness which is why i'm wearing this outfit yet again but um yeah y'all i did oh shoot i need to take a picture of this ah mm -mm. See, now it's a lie, and it's going to say I did 28 minutes on the Stairmaster the whole time. Honestly, I probably did. I kept stopping and starting and everything, so who knows, you know, what what it really is. Um, What I will say I like is the fact that I really don't feel like too many people are, like, paying you any mind. And I know that, like, that's technically what they say about all gyms, but, like, I was looking around a lot. I feel like I had, like, a slight hint of gym anxiety because I haven't been in a gym in a while, and I was trying to record. So, um... I just was looking around and stuff and I really feel like people mind their business in there. Like people just, I don't know. In other gyms, I, I don't know. Anyway, that's all like, yeah. And you know, I like the little motto. It's basically like, it's a judgment free zone and stuff like that. So that's cute. Um, so yeah, it was cool. It was decent. It was chill. I think that I need to go do a I feel like I need to go do a um, week pass at EOS because I really feel like EOS is where I need to go and I just need to go early in the morning or something like that so that, um, okay, you need, I need you to be like, I can take it over, so just, thanks. Um, so 
so yeah, I think I need to do me a little week pass to EOS. I think I've been a girl again, cause I know kids do this every year, but I really want to go to LVAC. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I really want to go to LVAC because I feel like I, not even I feel like, I don't like working out around men. I really don't, um, not at all. And LVAC has the women's only part of the gym. So I don't know, I feel like it's worth that extra five dollars for the convenience, but I think there might be like hidden fees or something like that with LVAC. So that is the concern with them. Um, and the funny thing about it is all I want to do go to the gym for is the Stairmaster. I have weights at home. So you need to, yeah, you need to go ahead and stop your car because you wildin'. Um, I have weights at home, but I don't have a Stairmaster at home. And I've been missing the Stairmaster like I believe I told y'all. So we'll have to see. Anyways, I'm going to catch up with y'all. I'm still finishing this juice, y'all, and it's 2.02. So um, I probably didn't need six juices like in one day, but... Also, just a little update, I'm actually a little bit shocked because I didn't think it would be this easy to not eat. But I guess I should have known since I don't really eat that much. Like, I feel like I don't be hungry, but I be eating because I feel like I should eat. Does anybody else have that problem? Anyways, y'all, so far, so good. I feel hungry a little bit right now, ironically enough. And I do want to eat, but I think that I want food because I know I can't eat food. So, we gonna ride it out, drink these juices, drink this water, make it shake. Welcome to Bottoms Up Body Fitness. <laughs> Girl, wait. Before you go, do not forget to join our Facebook group. You know you want to be part of the group. group. Y'all, it is 6.15. Um, sorry, my heater just came on. We're having another juice. I really feel like I should drink a thicker one. But I'm going to drink this now, and I might have another one. I'm not sure yet. This is greens too. This is apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, kale, and parsley. 140 calories. Let's get into it. I feel like I do the same face for everyone. It's okay. It's definitely greens. Definitely. I think if I had to choose a favorite so far for today, I would choose the last one that I had, which was the orange turmeric. I feel like the more you drink them, the better they start to taste, if I'm being honest. Which is funny, because you would think the more you drink them, the worse they taste. But no, they taste better the more I drink it. Hey, you guys. It is 9.32. Um, and I just want to update you guys because I'm about to be getting ready to read my word and go to bed. But as you probably can tell, I'm very low energy right now. I'm very tired. I'm hungry. I didn't drink another juice and I kind of want to, to be quite honest. Like, I feel like I'm trying to justify it in my mind. Like, it's not food, it's juice. So I'm not about to go to bed. So can I drink a juice? Like, and I really think I'm about to go get a juice. So maybe this isn't the end necessarily. But um, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry and I'm tired. Um, I wanted to get on here and say that. I mean, I am shocked at how easy it was to not eat. But now it's hitting me. But it's also the end of the night and I can go to bed. And I've been trying to finish my water. Which is really what I should drink. But yeah, um, I don't know why it's so hard for me to drink 80 ounces of water. But it really is. But I'm gonna go because I really have nothing else to say and like I'm just wasting time just rambling so I am going to catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, day two of the juice cleanse. It is 7:18, and we are trying this one this morning. This is strawberry orange mango smoothie. Smoothie. Um, it has apple, orange, strawberry, mango, peach, lemon, elderberry, and vitamin C. So let's see. Oh, 220 calories. <clears throat> I feel like they all have such strong flavors. Like, I feel like the orange and the lemon are like slapping me in the face this morning. It's good, but it's strong. 
I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. You know what? I'm sorry. I don't know what elderberry tastes like, but this tastes like it got a hint of like pomegranate, like a very, very, very small, like underlying pomegranate taste. It is good, but it's just like, <clears throat> I feel like my face is going to be the funniest part of these videos because I always make a face, but um, what was I about to say? I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. I really feel like I might have like caught something when I just came back from a trip um, and I started my juice cleanse right after my trip because I had no food anyway, so it was like perfect timing. And um, my face like i don't know like i'm just feeling under the weather like i don't feel like covid sick i don't feel like oh take me now sick but i feel like low energy i feel tired and i'm i mean i'm also hungry i don't know i've never done a juice cleanse i'm not sure but all i know for sure is that something ain't right i know my body well enough to know something it's we're not in alignment anyways i'm gonna drink this and transfer some files so that i can take care with me we're gonna go on a walk um, this morning, I was going to go to EOS and start the seven day pass, but child, I don't even feel like it. I'm about to go up here and walk while it ain't raining and all this other stuff and just we'll go from there. Y'all just got 43 grams of sugar. My goodness. That's crazy. <coughs> yeah, my throat. It's not even right. Y'all yeah, know how yesterday I said the more you drink it, the better it tastes? It's true, y'all. I don't know why. But it tastes better the more you drink it. It's pulp in this? Spend the night, you stay Nova. Ooh, you my designated roller. Last year, I hopped on the bandwagon and I read Atomic Habits. And if there's one thing that I always remember from that book, it's habit stacking. So I'm going on a walk, but I'm actually about to walk up to this Walmart because I need some soap and I need some cough drops because the ones I'm eating are like disgusting. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're habit stacking killing two birds with one stone getting those steps in but also getting what i need to get so yeah just want to let y'all know start habit stacking girlies y'all this house has free library like it's it's books look it has this and so now i'm looking at the books and i think i'm gonna take this this looks like a good one i need to quit doing this because i'll never even be reading the books for real Okay, y'all, I got this book for my little sister, and I got the other book. Hold on. I got the other book that I showed y'all for me. Y'all, it's Friday, so school's in session for the kids. So I'm like about to cross the street and you know how they have like the people who are, y'all know how they have the people who are at the end of the street with the stop signs when the kids is crossing. So like crazy people don't be trying to run the kids over. So the lady was like, what school do you go to? I said, I'm not in school, I'm 26. <laughs> she said, short people have that advantage because we're shorter, we look younger. I'm like, I mean, is that it? Seem plenty of short people who definitely look their age. Um, but yeah, you know what? Given that this was like fully covering my face and even my body's not fully showing, I guess I could be in middle school if I really try. I don't know though. I think we have to go to high school, like at least ninth grade. But I think my actual face, height aside, I look young. Um, so yeah, anywho, I'm almost to Walmart. I'm in the parking garage. I'm ready to go home and I ain't even to my destination yet. But that's fine because I'm gonna get my steps in. I already hit one mile. So, yeah. There are certain addictions that really just don't make sense to me. Like the gambling addiction. Being addicted to losing money is baffling to me. Once I lose $10, we're done. I'm getting up from the table. I'm getting up from the slots. I'm getting up from the black jack. Like, we're not playing Russian roulette no more. I'm not pulling no more. <laughs> ain't nothing else. You got $10 out of me, baby. I ain't doing it no more. And another thing, I'm just walking home now and there are i mean this is the second person that i passed who's smoking a cigarette 
and I instantly, instantly get a headache when I pass by and I'm just passing you. I'm getting a headache from secondhand smoke that I'm not even like sitting in, like I'm passing, I'm walking by you. And you actively putting it into your body like, ah, yeah. And this is not to like judge, but it's like I genuinely don't understand. Like, I mean, I understand the concept that nicotine is addicting, but like, why? <laughs> I, don't, I Yeah. Anyways, random thoughts with me while I'm on this walk. Ooh, my nose running, y'all. I got my hauls. I'm never getting, I think it's Ricola or something. Those are disgusting. I'm never buying those cough drops again. Stay, uh, go for what you know. But anyways, my arm hurting, so. I'm gonna catch up with y'all. Y'all, it is 1018. We're drinking greens number one. This has cucumber, celery, spinach, lemon, kale, and parsley. 50 calories. All right, now. It's the lowest calorie one so far. Greens one. This is gross. <clears throat> Oh, I can't do it. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm sorry. This isn't going to work. And I'm dead serious. Luckily, I have a lot from yesterday. Ooh, -wee, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> All righty. Let's try it again. We're going to go with avocado greens. Smoothie. This is, y'all yeah, know, smoothie because, come on now. This is apple, celery, cucumber, banana, avocado, spinach, lemon, kale, spirulina, whatever that is, and matcha. This is 190 calories, and I want better for us. It's good enough. It's not good, but it's good enough. It's not bad, actually. <clears throat> it ain't nothing like that one we just had to I had to put that back in the fridge <clears throat> I'm gonna have to see if my stepdad want that cause I can't do it otherwise I'm gonna have to like I don't know I think I'm gonna like when I get back to eating and drinking like not juicing I'm gonna put that in a blender with some ice and some protein powder cause that ain't gonna work man y'all I just took an hour break and I read, I started reading this book that I picked up from like earlier that I showed you guys. Oh my gosh, this is a good freaking book. This is a good book. It's called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And usually when something says this is a New York Times bestseller, it means absolutely nothing to me because these days, apparently everything is a New York Times bestseller, but this is a good book. I actually didn't even want to stop reading. You guys, I'm only on page 43. And all I've read so far is just his life story, you guys. And man, his daddy, he calls his dad the devil. Um, and he was not a nice man. He was not a kind man. Basically, y'all, um, his dad was like 36 when he met his mom, who was 19 years old. Red flag number one. Because, I mean, I don't discriminate on age differences necessarily, but she was 19, so that's, that's too young for me. His mom was 19. His daddy was like 36 or something like that. They met, and she was, came from like, she was a woman of God. She came from like that type of family and he knew exactly what to say to her to convince her that he was a man of god he 110 percent was not a man of god he they lived in like a really good neighborhood and i'm sorry if y'all don't care you could, there's time stamps so you could just skip through but i like y'all i haven't read a book that i didn't want to put down i'm not sure if i've ever read a book i didn't want to put down like i've been reading books and they've been good but this book this book right here man this is a good book anyways y'all to make a long story short, the boy's life was hard. His daddy was abusive verbally, mentally, emotionally. His father was toxic. He was beating his, he was beating the the mom. He was beating the two boys. Like he has young, he has an older brother, younger brother. Which one is he? Yeah, he is a older brother. He was beating both of them. It was. It's just. It's good. And I'm literally. That's all I know. Like, that's all I know so far. Um, I literally stopped at the very first challenge, and that's like upsetting to me, low key, because. It literally says challenge number one, and I really want to keep reading. I'm probably going to read it more later, but I have things to do, and I'm on, like, I'm doing timing. So I, I did 30 minutes, and then I didn't want to stop, so I did 30 more. So I basically read for an hour. But anyways, it is now 
And we back at it again with the juices. So we are trying citrus too. This is apple, pineapple, lemon, and mint. This is 240 calories. Wow, seems like a lot. Ooh, that's good. All right now, y'all might be on to something with this one right here. Okay, citrus number two. I see what you do, what you do. Okay, apple, pineapple, lemon, and mint. And that's all you need. Mm. Mm. This is a juice. If I ever did taste one. Ooh, it's day two, y'all. That is my third juice of the day. And I must say, although I do want to eat, I really do like, I want food, like, I'm already thinking about what I'm about to cook. Um, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's just I want food because I can't eat food. But I probably could have gone five days, but I ain't even going to push myself like that. I definitely want to see how I'm feeling by the end of the night because yesterday I was so low energy. But this is good. This is good. This is good. Citrus number two, what it do, what it do. Okay. Y'all, it's 7.35. My mom just cooked tacos for dinner. I cannot express to you how badly I want to throw in the towel. I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. I'm so serious. I cannot stress this enough. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm through. I'm hungry. I want food. Nevertheless, <laughs> back at it again with another juice. And this is Roots 3. So this is apple, lemon, ginger, and beets. This is 190 calories. Let's see what it tastes like. Ugh. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, ginger. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Help me, God. Oh, <clears throat> as you can see, this is how I feel about this one. Oh, if I uh, want to eat, <laughs> oh. okay. Well, I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow. Day three, final day. Can't come quicker, can't come quick enough. Oh, I'm so excited to eat. <laughs> okay bye if you thought i was about to drink that disgusting drink you thought wrong i put that thing right back in the fridge i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but it's gonna have to get used later anyways we're gonna drink this one instead this is vanilla almond it is almonds dates vanilla extract and sea salt 250 calories boring but better than the other one It tastes like the healthiest almond milk you could ever have in your life. It's chalky again. It's chalky. I don't like it, but it's definitely nothing near as bad as the one I just had with the beet. I wanted to get a couple of like sweeter ones for like dessert, quote unquote. It's good enough. Really taking everything in me not to give up on myself. Because I want to eat. <clears throat> so I need to just go to bed, honestly. That's what I need to do. I'm going to catch up with y'all tomorrow. For day three, the last day. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. When you do it. Hey, y'all. Hey, good morning. It is day three. Ah, I want time to eat. I'm having an avocado greens. I'm pretty sure that y'all already seen this one. This is apple, celery, cucumber, banana, avocado, spinach, lemon, kales. Yeah, because I couldn't say this word yesterday either. Spirulina or whatever. And matcha, 190 calories. Y'all already know about this one. Um, but just wanted to check in with y'all. Um... <clears throat> I want to talk to y'all about the verse of the day, to be honest. Hey there, no, stop me. talking. The verse of the day is Mark 49. I'm sorry. It's Mark 4, 9. So Mark chapter 4, verse 9. And it says, 
Then Jesus said, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. So then I continue reading on because sometimes the verse of the day be too short and you need to know what's actually going on, right? Um, if you're interested in like kind of knowing how I take the, you can spend time with God taking the rest of the day and breaking it down. I do have a video and I will link that up above for you. Anywho. So when they were all alone, the 12 disciples were basically like, Jesus, what was you saying? Cause like we heard what you were saying, but we don't understand what you were saying. And Jesus said, the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but those on the outside, everything is said in parables so that they may not ever see, but never perceiving. Oh, I'm sorry. So that they may be ever seeing, but never perceiving and ever hearing, but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. So essentially, first of all, the first thing that I got from this was the fact that Jesus was basically saying, like, I'm talking to y'all in code about the word of God, because only those who are really rooted in God, only those who really have the Holy Spirit in them will understand what's being said outsiders they're going to hear it, but they're not going to understand it. it's not going to make sense to them they cannot comprehend it because they do not have the spirit of god in them like period like is if you get it you get it and if you don't it's time to talk to god okay um anyways yeah so i just wanted to say that to you guys and i want to talk to you a little bit about just the um the initial notes that i wrote down like my initial thoughts were just kind of talking about how i feel like jesus is saying like we need to listen to understand and not listen just to listen i said i believe what jesus really saying in 4 9 is listen carefully listen intentionally and listen intently like you don't listen just to listen just to respond but like listen to hear listen to understand like I said, listen to Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit well, because sometimes the message is clear. However, we're missing it, trying to trying to see what he's saying instead of hear what he's saying. Like, I feel like sometimes, like, we're trying to make human sense of things sometimes, and it's not always going to make human sense. Like, that's why God gives us peace that surpasses all understanding, because his understanding is not our own, and he will give us messages that he knows we will be able to understand but when there are times when he's giving us a message and we don't really get it we don't really understand it that's all the more reason to fall deeper into his word and to seek him more and to fellowship with him more because he will make it clear to you just like the disciples said okay now jesus what was you really saying because like we heard what you said but we don't understand it we can do that same thing okay jesus okay god okay holy spirit like help me guide me into what you're actually trying to tell me because what you said is i'm not it's not making sense to me like i'm not comprehending it and jesus will break it down what he's actually trying to say to you um <clears throat> so in the devotional part of it something that really like stood out to me and i was like oh this is so good it said today's culture places value on doing many things at once when attention is divided, we may hear something, yet not fully understand the word. So, for example, let's say, like, I'm, like, watching a sermon, like, in my bed, like, watching a sermon, but then I'll also be scrolling on social media. I promise to God I did not hear some part of the sermon because my I'm double-minded. My mind is split between two different things. And so I can hear that there's a sermon playing, but I'm not understanding what's being said in the sermon because I'm not fully having my attention on that. In biblical context, hearing does not simply include sound reception. It's also involving active obedience in an effort to understand. Listening and obeying builds our faith. And it said listening and obeying build our faith in Jesus Christ. But I honestly believe that listening and obeying builds our faith in ourselves. When you become a woman, a man, a person of your word, you build faith within yourself. You trust yourself. You show up for yourself differently. When you can show up for yourself, when you can trust that what you said is what, what you're going to do, it creates a level of faith in yourself that allows you to, like, do more. Like, I don't really know, like, how to say it, but, like, if you know, you know, like, when you can trust yourself, when you have faith in yourself, when you say that you're going to do something and you do it, like, it breeds great reward. Anyways, lastly, it says hearing the word of God should lead to a transformed life marked by fruit fruitfulness. And this is so good. This is so good because God really gave me a revelation right after I read this. 
Um, I don't know if anybody else can relate, but like I've always heard people say, like you know someone by their fruit, like judge judge a person by their fruit. You know a man by his fruit. You know if a man is a man of God by his fruit and things like that. And I always heard it, and I would just kind of be like, okay, I hear what you're saying, but like, what does that mean? Like, what's the fruit? What fruit am I looking for? Like, what is the fruit? Like, I'm looking for specific answers. Like, okay, like I'm looking for apples. I'm looking for grapes. I'm looking for strawberries. Like, what fruits am I looking for? And after hearing this, it literally hit me. I said, this is why we know a man by his fruits. When someone says they believe, follow, and love God, their life should reflect that. Now, let me explain why I feel like I didn't understand this before. I knew of God, but I didn't know God. You cannot tell someone by their fruit when you don't know what the fruit is. Literally, I'm sitting here, is it apples, is it grapes, is it strawberries, like, is it tangerines, like, what is the fruit? Because I didn't know what the fruit was. Because I didn't understand what that meant. Because I wasn't in my word, because I wasn't aligned with God. How can you judge someone by their fruit if you don't know what the fruit is? And I didn't know what the fruit was because I didn't read God's word. The fruit is in his word. And it makes so much more sense now. Like such a simple phrase was so complex to me. I just really could not fully understand it because I did not have, I wasn't rooted. I wasn't rooted. Essentially, I was not rooted. And so I feel like it makes so much sense to me now because it's like hearing the word of God should lead to a transformed life marked by fruitfulness. This makes sense. This means that when you say that you live for God, when you say that you love God, like it should show in your actions. It should show in your character. It should show in your day to day life. I should be able to see that you love God by the way you move, by the way you love, by the way you speak, by the way, you know what I mean? And it really convicted me as well, like that I need to do better at showing up in this world, in my life. As a believer of Christ, I heard somebody say something and I can't remember who it was or when it was or where it was or nothing like that. But it was essentially like, if you could not speak, if you could not speak at all, would your life show that you love God? Would your life show that you live for God? And so that's something that it made me think of it just again, like that it's important for me to show my fruit as well, because I do love God. I do believe in God. And it's so important for me not just to read the word, but to let the word transform my life. And I don't want it to be a situation where my seeds fall on ground that is a, got a little bit of soil or whatever it says. And um, I basically like get joy in the moment, but then it goes away. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, that was a good word. Ooh, da, 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 da. And then forget it later. I don't live it out later. And that's something that I really, really, really need to work on, especially like when I go to work and stuff like that. Like sometimes I do judge. Sometimes I'm not kind. Sometimes I don't react like how Jesus would. And it just, it, it makes me disappointed in myself because it's like, you're not being a living example of God right now. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to say that. And I want to go to like this gospel fest today but it starts at 10 and it's 11 56 so we'll just see where the day takes us y'all i'm just getting back from grocery shopping and because of my career field i oftentimes forget what day it is but baby when i tell you i remembered it was saturday i remembered it was saturday when i went grocery shopping because i'm like why is everybody outside because it's saturday and it's when people this is when people who work nine to five go to the grocery store. Anyways, I'm back at it again. We're having greens three. Let's pray that this one is better. It's apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, parsley. It's 130 calories, and I feel like it's about to be nasty. Mm. It's spicy. Oh, it's the ginger. I think we had this one. It's good enough. Let me tell y'all something. It's taking everything in me to be a woman in my word. I don't even really care that I'm recording necessarily because y'all ain't seen the footage, so the footage don't have to go out. But it's literally, this is the last day. This is the last day, and I feel like the enemy is really trying me because it's like, it's when you're getting close to something that you want to give up the most. I can't give up. But man, I want to eat. I just went grocery shopping, like I said. So I got the food that I'm literally cooking tonight because I go on a trip tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to vlog, you guys. I think I'm going to vlog. Anyways, um, that being said, I want to eat. And I know, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Tonight when I make my food, I might, 
might take me a little nibble. I don't know. I'm trying not to, but we're going to have to see. Anyways, yeah. All right, so that's my fault. We actually had greens one, and uh, that was greens 1.5, which is just as disgusting. Now we're going to have citrus instead. Citrus one has cucumber, pineapple, coconut water, lemon, and aloe vera. It's 130 calories. It's okay. It's good enough, which I feel like I've said about a couple other ones as well. That other citrus, I don't know which citrus it was right off the top of my head, but ooh, that thing was good. Those don't really just taste like a bed of greens. Anywho, yeah. <clears throat> hey y'all, it is 5.55 and we're having um, strawberry orange mango again. We're going for one that we can know, we can trust, because I'm not about to play no more. Mm. I must say, the last day has been the hardest day, because I went grocery shopping today, everything looked good. Um, and I just, they, they in the house cooking, like they having tacos, like I just, I want to eat so bad and I want to give up and I want to throw in the towel, but it's literally the last day and I've come so far. Like it's literally, like I said, like it's 556, like I only got a couple more hours until it's the next day. Like I cannot give up on myself now. That's good. 220 calories. Whew. It is 8.03. First of all, my stepdad just made broccoli and chicken and rice, and I did. I'm going to tell you the truth. I had a very, very, very tiniest small amount. Like, literally, you can't even put it like this much. Like, this, like, legit. But still, just th this much. I didn't have any rice, just the chicken and the broccoli. And it was like, but still. Anyways, my arms are, I gotta put y'all down. We're going in with the chocolate almond. This is almonds, dates, cocoa, and sea salt. I hope this tastes like something, child. Ooh, I didn't expect that. Definitely healthy, definitely chalky. Definitely chocolate. And yeah. To be honest with you guys, as I said, it's eight o'clock. It's day three. And we're just gonna we're just gonna let it be what it is here. We're done. So this is the end of the video. If you made it this far in the video, I definitely hope you enjoyed it. Actually, I'm so sorry. I'm going to the end of the video. We ain't even done no recap, no summary, no nothing. Like, girl, where's you going? Um Okay, so clearly, as y'all can see from watching the vlog, it has gotten harder for me over time. Lord knows, a five day would have just, I would, after three, we'd have been done here. Like, I prompt, like, mm -mm, uh -uh, get somebody else to do it. Um, I, it's not like hard, it's just challenging. Like, you're gonna have to push yourself, it's challenging. I, I truly would not recommend a five day if you've never done a juice cleanse before. I would recommend anywhere from one to three, even one day, like to cleanse your body, anything like that, you know, just to get yourself prepared to get yourself started. For me personally, this was not about weight loss. So I didn't, I don't, I didn't weigh myself. I have no idea how much weight I might've lost or whatever the case may be. I didn't weigh myself and I haven't weighed myself since. So like, I have no idea how much weight I might have lost. It was just about like detoxing my body, cleansing my body, because at the end of the day, I was acting a fool. Like... Excuse me, I just don't even, like, I was just out here wilding, like, eating everything and just acting crazy. So, I just wanted to, like, cleanse my body and, like, give myself a fresh start. February is my January, so Happy New Year! Yes, okay? That being said, I want to make healthier decisions, healthy choices. I definitely appreciate that. I was able to, you know, cleanse my body for these three days. And, um, I'm super excited to eat. <laughs> for real, and not for play. 
um so yeah anyways if you made it this far in the video i definitely appreciate you for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe definitely check out some of my other videos you might like those as well you probably will if you do definitely subscribe to my channel turn on that bell notification so you're notified every time i post another video as always i thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye guys